Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and today we are back with another video with the Dawning Update. So, in today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys how you can go about getting the Solar Thunderlord. Now, this LMG is extremely easy to get. All you actually need to do is get rank 7 in your book. Now, once you get rank 7, you're going to unlock a reward called Zerus Tag. You can take this tag to his present, which is located right at the top of the tower by where the Iron Banner used to be. You will see a bunch of gifts here, and once you use Zerus Tag, you will first unlock the quest for the Void Thunderlord. Now that quest is extremely easy and I've already made a quick and complete guide on how to do that. You can check the link down below in the description if you're looking on a quick guide on how to do that. Now once you do the Void Thunderlord quest, you will need to then pick up the Solar Thunderlord quest. Now as of the time I'm making this video, there's actually a glitch and the quest will not display when you unlock it, so you will have to go out of your way to actually get this quest. But just know that once you finish the Void Thunderlord quest, or the Nova Mortis quest, once you've unlocked that gun, you will then unlock the next quest, which is for the Abaddon or the Solar Thunderlord. So it's a little confusing. But this quest is extremely simple and easy, and it's actually just like the Void Thunderlord. So as soon as you're done talking to Commander Zavala, you will then need to hand over to Benji at the Gunsmith to turn this in. Now once you do that, you will need to go out and get 100 kills with a Solar ability, so that's actually extremely easy. I just wrapped that up really quickly in a couple of the strikes. While rocking Golden Gun, it was pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. But once you do finish that and you get your 100 ability kills, you will then need to go into the Shield Brothers strike. So this strike's pretty easy and you won't need a fire team or anything to do this. There's already a matchmaking system made, so if you're by yourself, you can still easily get this done. Now all you gotta do is just complete the Shield Brothers strike, just like the Void quest with the Abomination. Once you're done, you will then return back to the tower to Commander Zavala to pick up your exotic Thunderlord. So just like the Void Quest, this one's pretty simple. It was just the only thing that was really hard was finding the quest just because of how it was a little glitchy at first. So hopefully this guide does help you guys to get your Solar Thunderlord and get past that glitch so that you can get it a little sooner. It's done. Now as for the perks of the Solar Thunderlord, they're pretty much the exact same as the Void just with a different archetype. So. It's not really all that worth it to go grind these out or waste your time if you're trying to rush these out. You pretty much have the entire duration of the dawning to get this done, so you definitely don't need to rush this. Like I said, the rolls aren't really anything too crazy, and I'm sure that these guns won't make too big of a difference in the Crucible, but they are still pretty awesome guns to get. So if this video did help you out today, guys, please be sure to drop a like down below. Also, if you would like to subscribe, I do upload pretty frequent Destiny guides and content, so if you're interested in Destiny and just want to see some more guides and stuff, definitely be sure to check out the channel. Other than that, guys, I will catch you guys tomorrow for some more Destiny content. Peace.